What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Oh Shay Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk Dima Russian Music. So, guys, listen. Brittany Griner is six foot nine, two hundred and five pounds, and I do not watch the WNBA, but from what I can gather, she is a generational talent. She's won the WNBA championship. She uh, is an all-star every year. She's a great player, no doubt about that. But what happens in the offseason, because the WNBA doesn't pay, uh, pay enough money, she plays in Russia, who um, in, in those WNBA, in those women's leagues there, they pay more money, okay? So she plays there. Now, in the offseason, which is where she's playing right now in Russia, and we all know what's going on with the Ukraine and Russian war. Russia has been hit with many sanctions. And I've been talking to Dima lately. He's been uh, editing the video. And he's been like this. Sad music. Jose. Oh, my goodness. The rubble is trash. The rubble is trash. And you know I'm petty, right? So I'm about to pay Dima. <laughs> In rubles this month. But let me kind of talk about the ruble. Now, if you look at, let's look at this. February the 6th, one US dollar was 75.85 rubles, which is still the economy has been real terrible the last 10 years. Right now, one US dollar is 124 Russian rubles. Now, that's an inflation of almost 40 to 50%. So if you had your money stored in rubles, you've lost a lot of money in dollars, okay? Those sanctions, although Russia is still infiltrating Ukraine, it has created a real bad situation for this particular economy. Uh, according to Dima, who lives in Russia, things, especially if you're getting computer parts and stop the show. I'm so glad we built uh, Dima's PC. Dima, go ahead and show him what you're working with over there. You got a 3070 card. Um, yeah, we, we, we built Dima's PC about... Mm, seven eight months ago so it was much cheaper then if we were to do it now it's like 50 percent, and that bill was about five or six thousand dollars at the time all right so it was already high so the russian economy is filling it the average russian is filling it now i want to say this because they said that she had some drugs in her uh in the airport some vape carpet cartridges which if, if you want to ask me i don't think there's no reason for her to sell drugs she's been there the whole time she understands what's going on globally i think these charges are trumped up okay i really do i don't think any, this has anything to do with that however um they said that she had a specific odor i don't believe it i definitely believe that because she's a high profile person from the united states she's in jail because it's it's their way of getting back at the united states for saying hey listen you guys are in, are, are are putting sanctions on us um, here's what you get. We're going to detain your lady, one of your best stars in the WNBA, because she's selling drugs in, in, in Russia. These are trumped up charges. My question is for, for me here, and I want to be honest here. When this thing was going down, before Russia decided to invade Ukraine, okay? And they're just now hearing about this, right? It was She's been detained for like three weeks. I want to know this. Why isn't it that somebody that was close to her and I'm not sure if it was, told her, hey, listen, this is going to happen. All of our citizens from America need to get out. They need to get out. Why are your citizens not saying that? And that's that's a problem here. Because, okay, whenever you are, you are a person and you're on the other opposing side, this is war. It is obvious that Russia is not afraid of the United States. The USA is a superpower no doubt about it but they're not you know omnipotent okay they're not all powerful russia's not afraid of anybody so if you're a united states citizen and you're there you you, you got to really think about what your life is going to be like because your country is the reason why they have sanctions now again britney reiner or britney griner probably doesn't look at it like that what she looks at it is that, listen, I've been in this country and, you know, I bring a lot of business here. I'm selling a lot of tickets here in Russia. That ain't got nothing to do with me. 
Unfortunately, a lot of us, let me just say this. When you're black and you're broad, it got everything to do with you. Okay, good or bad. When you're a United States citizen and there's a war going on in the world and the United States is on the other side. And if you're there in the person's country, you're going to jail, especially if you're high profile. Okay, they're going to mess with you. They're going to do whatever. And it's their word against yours. Oh, well, you're selling drugs in our country. You can't prove that you wouldn't have drugs there because it's their word. So I, I, that is what I think situation is. Now, let me kind of get to this whole situation. I've been seeing guys who have been saying if Donald Trump was president, listen to what I'm saying here. If Donald Trump was president, this wouldn't have happened. Now, I want to talk about this. I am a uh, Republican. I, I am a registered Republican. I want guys to know this. If you don't like Donald Trump, listen, don't unsubscribe for me. I'm still black first. Okay. Uh, but I'm a registered Republican. I have seen the policies of Joe Biden in the first year. And I, I was definitely against Joe Biden in the election from what his past was against the blacks. Um, but what I've seen is Joe Biden's administration, their inability to handle this gas prices have gone up uh, significantly. I've seen the failure to do things for the black community as promised. I honestly believed that if, if, if Donald Trump was in office right now, this would not be a big issue because he was there for eight years and there was still just as much animosity or four years rather from Ukraine towards Russia. And we didn't have this problem. So I do believe that Donald Trump, it, and if, if Joe Biden doesn't fix this up, he's going to lose that next uh, election. Donald Trump's going to be back in office. I do believe that's the case. Donald Trump would have had a better opportunity to handle this situation from the, the, the knowledge that I do have. And again, I'm not a political analyst or anything like that, but I do believe that. I urge all U.S. citizens who are in Ukraine or Russia to leave. Okay. Uh, I'm even a U.S. citizen. I have some permanent residence left left in Poland. I'm afraid to go back. All right. And Poland's in the EU. So, guys, when you're out in these countries, be careful of what may happen there. All right. Um, and, and understand what you're doing. That's what I think happened to her, to be honest. But, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check out the first one at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains all-time high. I'm out.